Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video on our channel and today we are going to discuss regarding an update that is coming in from Cognizant that is a very concerning update. Okay, so this is going to be an update and this video is going to be relevant for all the Cognizant students uh, or those co students who have been placed in Cognizant or might be going to be placed in future also. So this is for you guys only. So there is a very concerning update that is coming in from Cognizant. Uh, those students who have been uh, placed in Cognizant and have been getting training under the CSG program right now. So there is update is coming from them. Okay, almost many people have been already uh, been started their training under the CSD program and some people who uh, are still waiting for the CSD program, their date of joinings and uh, onboarding updates for uh, training program is getting delayed again and again. So we, I have already posted regarding why Cognizant is sending delayed onboarding and why Cognizant onboarding slowed down. Uh, a related video regarding that a few days ago you can check that video I'll give you the link in the description as well and uh, that's the video for slowed onboarding but what if uh, if you are getting onboarding uh, is your job secured after that so we are going to talk about that in this video and there is a very concerning upsetting news coming from those candidates who have already been onboarded and going through their trainings okay so they are not onboarded as FT they are onboarded as trainees like CSD trainees so what is happening what is the concerning update happening from them we are going to see but if you are new to our channel uh, make sure to click on the subscribe button then join our telegram group for any discussions the link I will give you in the description box and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post different hiring, onboarding and industry updates regularly. So make sure not to uh, miss out on those. Okay. So first of all, as you all know that I have already posted different videos regarding what is the cognizant training structure, uh, what are the different phases of the trainings. Uh, there is phase one, there is stage one, stage two and what are the in between exams between them that is the stage one qualifier, the internal uh, interim interview and projects uh, submission. Then the final uh, project submission and SME interview all those uh, detailed videos I have already posted uh, earlier you can check uh, if you have any doubts regarding those uh, or different different stages you can check those videos from my channel I will uh, you can just uh, search Cognizant uh, CSD training or Cognizant training uh, learn with Debjit you can get it from the YouTube or I will give that in the uh, description as well but today uh, those candidates who have already done with their uh, tra uh, trainings uh, phase one or the stage one training and there is some update concerning update coming from them so as i have mentioned in my previous videos that many people uh, those who have uh, given their uh, stage one uh, exams okay they got their results within few days and then some of them passed the uh, passed the exams and some of them failed the exams okay so what is the update for those candidates who have failed the exam? So I, I have posted a video regarding this few weeks ago as well. But then there was no update given to them. They were still uh, going through their stage 2 training. But they were uh, moved to a separate room. Okay, they have been moved from which, whichever room they were getting trainings from. They have been moved to a separate place. But still their training was ongoing. And they have been not given any update that you will you are not going to uh, continue or you are you are like terminated or what will happen you have to give re-exam or anything they were not given any updates regarding that they were concerned about that as well so uh, they were not getting any proper clear updates but they were still going through their training so they thought that yes they might consider their self, uh, their low scores and all but since yesterday we are getting many concerning updates that those candidates who could not clear their qualifier assessment that is the uh, that is the assessment that happens after the stage one training so those who could not clear that they are um, they might get terminated okay they are getting terminated this like not even terminated or delayed from training not even like that they are getting totally terminated from the company this is the update we got so okay so since last like one two days i have been getting this news but that was not been confirmed so i was not uh, posting any video regarding this it hints that they are going to get terminated though it is not officially announced that they are terminated yet but they have been already asked to uh, submit their uh, assets and all okay so if uh, you uh, are watching the video and this has happened with you like you have failed uh, to clear the 
uh, exam or you have been uh, you have failed to clear your qualifier assessment and uh, you have been terminated after that make sure to comment down so that everyone can get the clear idea okay and if you are one of those years that you have failed but still you are continuing the program and uh, they have said that you don't worry we are not going to terminate your uh, or anything like that then also you should comment down okay because everyone should get the proper idea what uh, about what is happening okay because this is a very concerning update that is coming from the company that uh, what is going to happen if they are not passing what is happening uh, they are getting terminated or not but many people are commenting also and also we are to heart that many people are uh, getting the updates that you are going to get terminated like that okay so once they are getting any confirmation or anything i will try to inform you guys as well okay if i get to know but for now this is the update that they are getting this uh, termination mail but then now the question is how many people are going through this okay and why this is happening due to the us recession or the uk recession or why this is happening why they are trying to terminate people so the number of people who are not passing the qualifier assessment is very less okay first of all uh, there is like almost more than 90% candidates are getting uh, going through or getting the 70% marks criteria easily through the qualifier assessment so if you are watching and you don't have given your qualifier assessment yet try to work hard try to prepare hard because most the most of the candidates are passing it okay uh, the, so do not panic about the termination and all just now because most of the candidates are passing it so if you are trying hard if you are preparing hard you can also pass it okay but major uh, the uh, less amount of people also like that uh, you can say like 8 to 10 percent are people who are not being able to pass or not being able to get the 70 percent criteria mark they some of them immediately got the uh, update that you are going to submit your laptops and you are not going to continue or anything but some of them are have been going to office still more than like three four weeks now and they have been having no clue about they are going to get terminated or they are going to continue anything and after like that they are suddenly getting this update that uh, you are not going to uh, continue anymore like that okay so this is very very disheartening and finally one update i am going to give you guys so those who have not completed your qualifier rate and those who are going to uh, give qualifiers uh, make sure to study hard even if you are not onboarded yes or you have not started your training yet study hard till from now even if you are not onboarded still uh, study from here okay uh, don't wait for when you are going to get onboarded and then you are going to start studying don't wait for that make your basics clear and if you want me to make a separate video regarding uh, how should you prepare for the qualifier what things you should prepare and how to practice everything detailed regarding that just comment down i'll try to make one video regarding how to prepare for the cognizant exams a detailed video on that and if you have any other queries regarding to this update or anything you can make sure to comment down and if you also got any information regarding this make sure to comment that also so that's it